you later. <clears throat> so what we need to do is go to this projects option and I hope that you guys are practicing your things on this express course. Uh, this is some, this is a course that you can basically keep practicing as per your own pace. Uh, we have done like four exercises with that. We were doing creating art with code and we can continue to do uh, the further exercises on that as per our own pace. You can work on these things with your own speed. So that's what you can do. Um, the next one is swimming fish and sprite tide. I will show you how to do that as well. But before that, what you need to do is go to your projects option here. In this projects option, you are going to see this button which says view full list. So you are going to click on view full list and go to this games with events option. In this games with events option, you are now going to select basketball. Have we done the basketball code previously? Excuse me, can anyone tell me? Did we complete this basketball game in the previous lesson? No. Okay, we haven't done that. So now this game, uh, this is basically a basketball game. Now this basketball game, what you have to do is you have to make sure that there is going to be a ball that is going to be released in the air. And all you have to do is just make sure that your ball reaches here in this goal area now if you will see this goal area let me zoom it in a little so if you see this goal area this goal area is basically uh, the part of uh, the it's basically the part of your picture which does not have a red border alongside it so whenever the ball passes through this empty area other than this red ball so we are going to say that we have scored a goal and as i told you earlier today we are going to learn about a new concept and that new concept is a variable so the name of the concept is variable most of you would not know what the variable means but i would try to explain it as much as i can here so the word that i am explaining is variable sorry for the spellings <clears throat> so that is the word variable so we have to learn about what does this word variable means and why do we use variables in coding now when we say the word variable it is a value that can be changed during a program let's say that we are creating a game let's suppose that in our game we want the score to change after a goal in this basketball goal in this basketball game what we want is we want the score to change after every goal after whenever we make a goal we want the score to change so this technically makes our score to be a variable. A variable has two things. First, a variable has two properties. First, first property of a variable is that it has an initial value. Do you know what is the meaning of the word initial? No. So, no. Okay. So the word initial means at the start. So when we start playing the game, remember the flappy word game, when we start playing that game, the score had a previous value. So the score had a value that was already set and that value was zero. So most of the times a variable has an initial value. And an initial value is any value that is given to that variable at the start of the game. So initial value in simpler words, you can say that it is the starting value of a variable. Initial means, here I would write, initial means 
starting so a variable has a starting value it starts with a certain value and then it can change when we are uh, playing a game during the program it can change its value let's say that when we are playing a game when we are playing this flappy bird game or when we are making this basketball bounce game in both these cases the score is going to change so that is why the score will be treated as a variable a variable is anything in a program any value in a program that can change when something happens in the program so whenever we will make our ball go past this red line here this basket every time the ball passes this basket our score is going to increase and similarly every time the ball misses to hit this hand we are going to lose a point or maybe the opponent score is going to be increased now we are going to start making this simple game using the codes that have been given to us just remember that we are only remixing this code all the code elements are here with us all we need to do is just remix it using the proper options like when we play the run button when we click the run button there is something that should happen the score is appearing as 0 0 that's fine we can set the team whichever we want to set let's say that i want to set the team to this one and when i will press the run button you can see now the background has changed a little i would want some red background so that is why i am choosing this chicago bulls it has some reddish type of background so we can change your team here if you want and any team that you will select it will have its own logo appearing in the center and the colors are going to change a little so that is going to have a little changes here in the background of the game okay so first thing is that you set your team after that what you are going to do is set the hand speed the hand speed needs to the hand speed would identify that how fast or how slow is the hand moving this icon over here it is a hand and similarly you can set the hand as per your own liking currently you would see the hand color has changed similarly if i want to use a fairer hand i can use this one and when i will press the run button the hand color is going to change so any such change you can make similarly when we will press the left arrow we would want our hand to move towards the left side so we need to see that if there are options for that move left and move right so now when we will press left arrow the hand would move at the left side and when we press the right arrow the hand would move up, uh, move at the right side setting the speed or changing the speed here changing the speed here is basically going to make the speed of the hand different like now the hand is moving a little slowly if i will change it to very fast the hand would start moving very fast so we can select whichever speed we want to be to our hand to be moving so by selecting the random whenever you will press the uh, whenever you will press the run button it will have a different speed so we do not want it to have a different speed every time we can just fix it whenever we want let's say i fix it fast and now my hand is moving fast enough that i like this speed so you can change the speed as per your own like so the first two codes were about the right arrow movement and the left arrow movement now a character has started to move the next thing that we want is we want a ball to be present here so that we can start playing the game so firstly i would want that whenever i press the run button a new ball should be thrown so a new ball has been thrown but nothing much is happening at this moment why nothing is happening 
because i haven't coded what should happen when the ball hits the hand or what should happen when the ball hits the red wall so you see in this game there is this red wall on the three sides this red wall is basically a, an identification of the edge or the border of the game so what you can do is identify when ball hits wall so this red outline this basically shows wall so what happens when the ball hits the wall the ball should bounce so we are going to add bounce ball and we can add a bounce sound here as well i guess the bounce is better now if this ball hits the wall first it is going to bounce see it bounced off the wall but it is not bouncing off the hand so we need to tell that when ball hits hand it also needs to bounce so by this we have almost done meaning part of the coding but now as you can see that ball gently went through that went through that target or went through that goal but nothing happened what should happen if the ball passes through the target we should get the score but we are not getting any score where is our point we are not getting any score so what we are going to do is when ball is in the goal we should get one more score no point and when the ball misses the hand we should score an opponent point so that is what should happen now so we have got one score here for the opponent but now we can't play the game anymore because the ball is not here so we need to tell that whenever the score whenever the goal is scored we need to get a ball every time so whenever we get the score we ask them to throw a new, new ball now you would be able to see that if it passes out here still we get a new ball now and we start playing with a new ball and similarly we have to make sure to do the same coding we have to make sure to do the same coding for when ball in goal as well so when ball went past the goal when the ball went past that goal what needs to happen is that we get one score and the ball comes back now you can see that when i have scored the goal the, the goal the ball is not coming back so we are going to pick this throw new ball again and put it here behind below that so with this our game is almost um, finished last thing that we have is this set the ball speed so we can make the ball speed to be a little faster so that we can play the game quickly currently it says normal ball speed so what i can do is change it to fast and start playing it now So now the game gets more interesting because it has become a little more faster. So that was it from this code. All you had to do is just use the six events very carefully and design that game. Okay. So I have already recorded this and I will be sharing this recording with you. <clears throat> so I'll be sharing.